Here is an American Ohio Diesel Electric Hydraulic 650 or DEH 650 and power stick configuration. What makes it so unique is American Ohio Crane actually built I don't know how many of these hydraulic boom uh, scrapyard cranes. The only one I know of that's still in use as of 2008 is on the Central, I'm sorry, the Canadian Pacific Railway up in Canada. Uh, there's one tooling around in their Mo fleet. I would love to have more information on these machines, but it is very rare and very hard to find any literature about this machine. I was lucky to find uh, a piece with somewhat of the boom. I uh, tried to model it as much as I could after the real machine. But you could take, say, this 650 and retrofit it with the power stick boom if you wanted to back in the day. Take all the guts out of this one and, you know, put hydraulics in it. This one, it was wonderful. It was a super fun build. I named her 17. Those in the know, know. And those that don't know, well, you should be awake by now. Uh, it rotates 360 degrees. The boom goes up and down. There's a pivot point right here. It's just a piece of uh, styrene pipe through another piece of pipe and that's the pivot point. Um, hydraulics, everything works. Boom will raise. It won't stay though. I gotta figure that out. She has a 70 foot reach. Yeah. This, like I said, was a lot of fun to build. I uh, kind of messed up the boom cylinders here go on the side on the real machine and I made the boom and the house at the same time and I didn't test fit it to see if you know I could put the hydraulics on the side so I had to put them up here on top. On the original design the hydraulics are right where they are they just connect on the side so I screwed that up and the original design of the power stick is in my opinion you know after operating heavy equipment for a very very long time was very flimsy so I made my boom heavy duty because uh, the original design if you swung that into a pile of scrap you're tearing up boom pins and bushings you're tearing something up you're tearing the boom up now, I thought it was a real flimsy design so I beefed up my boom dual exhaust uh, beacons it's weighted, it has counterweights. If I took the counterweights off, this thing would just tip over. I couldn't get it balanced and weighted properly. Uh, it's got the 5 millimeter English number or letters on there. And you'll see this tooling around on my steel mill. Super fun build. I really enjoy building it. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to build next. I think I'm on American Crane Kick, so I'll probably be making American Cranes for a while. I got probably three or four models I'd love to make. This was the second one I had to make because it's such a rare piece of equipment. You just don't see these anymore. Um, I made the cab a little bit bigger than necessary because, you know, the operator needs good visibility. Uh, I made the magnet. The magnet took... Ooh, about six hours to make. Took me six hours to make. Real simple design, just the chains, man. Putting the chains on there. Oh, what a bear. It has a neodymium magnet in it. This is cardstock with a little piece of metal, flat sheet steel in there. Painted to look like that stuff. And that's about it. Like, I have no idea what I'm going to be building next. Stay tuned and you'll find out too. God bless. God bless America. I'll see you all. Bye.